Hi everyone, my name is Stephen Morton. I'm a singer and voice teacher and music teacher here in Calgary. The exercise I'd like to teach you today is something I came up with and I call it the deceptive octave. The reason why I call it this, the deceptive octave is because we'll start on the tonic, we'll do a three note scale up and down, and then we'll do the arpeggio back down to the third. So it spans an octave, you're spanning from the third of the scale to the third of the scale, but it doesn't feel like you're singing a whole octave, which is why I call it the deceptive octave. Now, I use this exercise to even out the registers for my students. So if you are working with the tenor, I might use it around the secondary passaggio. And if you're using it with uh, a soprano or mezzo voice where the passaggio is going to sit um, like around an A, then you could use it to even out the registers between head and chest around that. So we move up and down a little bit. So for today, let's start um, in B flat major. So we're going to go up to the third and then do the arpeggio down to the third. So we start with the buzz. Doing a semi-occluded exercise like that is really great for evening out the registers, but then I follow it right away with opening up to a za or whatever vowel might work beautifully for your students. So maybe a z or a zu, okay? We're gonna use za today. So buzz first. <laughs> Now, ideally, the buzz is always going to set you up beautifully for when you open up to the, the open vowel. Um, and what I do is, is, particularly if we're working on evening out the registers, I don't use this um, exercise for range, so you don't have to move up a lot. Sometimes I'll just move back and forth in that range where we're trying to even out the feeling of head voice and chest voice. So that's the deceptive octave. I hope you enjoy trying it with your students.